Welcome back guys, we are going to get on with something really important today. We are going to be doing the London Underground, yeah we're going to start doing the tube, we're going to be doing the district line, oh hell yeah. Uh, before we jump into that though, I, there's a few things that I kind of need to show you because like, you've only got to look down here to see that things have changed a little bit. We're up to like 5 million now uh, and you can see we're making like over 10,000 a week. Now why is that? Well, uh, first thing is we go to taxes. Um, I increased the taxes to like 12% across the board. So um, that helped an enormous amount. But also I've put in a bunch of services and it's amazing how when you add services you just make so much more money. So um, I've also added in like a bunch of residential and I've replaced all of the high density in Surbiton with uh, low density. And it just looks so much better now. And if we um, kind of come down here, you can see that this is, this is really starting to, I've done a lot of work guys, I've done a lot of work, but this is really starting to fill in now. And if we go over to Richmond, I mean, you remember how kind of how thin Richmond was? And now, look, look at all these areas. This is all filled in. This is all filled in. Oh, yeah. And I put this, oh, I put this little path along here. I still can't figure out what to put in here to kind of represent those, um, that little, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. I'm going to call it the piazza, but like, you know what I mean. I, I don't know what to put in there. Um, oh, oh! now one thing I do need to mention, let's have a look at the traffic, uh, the, not the traffic, the transport, because um, there is something important. This, uh, the bus capacity, for normal buses, like the little buses, it's set at 85, but for the route masters, it was set at 45, as you saw in that, um, in that bus video. So what I did was, for the route masters, I've increased that to 80, because... Um, that's what the capacity of a route master is. So, uh, yeah, so that's that's kind of helped. And I've actually added a couple more buses to this route because it kind of needed it. And now we're up to almost a thousand passengers a week on the buses, just with two lines, just with two lines, thousand passengers a week. We're up to over two and a half thousand on the trains now. Um, oh, and I, I think, yeah, I added two more trains to the uh, Waterloo uh, Kingston line. Um, yeah. Did I do anything else? No, I mean, mainly it's been putting schools and hospitals and fire stations and stuff in. Like I put the, um, the fire station in for, uh, for Richmond. And like all the schools that I've put in, I've put in where there are actually schools. So for example, here, I've put a school in here. This is an elementary school. But if we, um, if we bring up the map, you'll see that... Um, there is a school here, there is a school here, there is a school here. So I've, I've tried to put them where things actually are. Oh, 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 oh I've got to show you this. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but I've done a lot, so I've got a lot to show you. But don't worry, as soon as I show you this, we're going to go and look at the blooming, um, the, the district line. We're going to go and do that. Uh, where the hell is what I put in? There it is, right. I did a bit of messing around because I wasn't happy with the, the layout of the hospital. This is Kingston Hospital. So I've actually put in two big hospitals and two small hospitals to try and create uh, more of the feel of, uh, of Kingston Hospital because it kind of does have, the, there's a, there's a, there is a building that goes along here and there is a building that goes along here. And then these buildings here are a bit older. And then you've got like down this street, this is all the nurses accommodation down here. And I took out the, the commercial stuff along here because there, is, there isn't any in front of the hospital. And I also put in, I look, I put a couple of tennis courts in, which, um, which people seem to like. Because there is a tennis court here. So, um, so that's why I put that in. That's that little tennis court I told you about. It's very, very good, you know, it's a good little park. Look at all the people hanging out. Look, like, like, why are you standing on a tennis court with briefcases? Why have they all got briefcases? Loads of women executives hanging around. Um, okay, whatever. Look at all the buses on the 85. Right, shut up, Sky. <laughs> shut up. Go and do the tube. Where are we going to start? Well, 
If you're going to start the district line, there basically is only one place to start. Uh, let's bring up the map and I'll show you. Uh, if we go down here, right, so we did we did Richmond, okay, Richmond's over here and you go up here to Q and like like wherever you cross over, whether it's Q or Chiswick, um, you intersect this road that comes in here and it starts off as the M4 motorway and then it comes in here and then goes up here and that, uh, kind of everything goes up there and this thing inexorably flows into like through Hammersmith into Earl's Court okay and probably all the Australians and New Zealanders all over the world have just gone oh bloody great mate we're gonna do Earl's Court I used to live there <laughs> because Earl's Court is basically like little Australia um, it's like man it's just like packed with uh, with Aussies and Kiwis it's a uh, it's pretty awesome actually right uh, so now, why are we focusing on Earl's Court? Let me put up a... Um, uh, I'll try and get a London Underground map and kind of illustrate. Um, if you look at uh, this map, Earl's Court uh, is... It's a major junction of, like, four parts of the district line. The district line is not just, like, one straight line. There are, um, there are lines that come off it. And Earl's Court is like a major central part of that. And it's also got um, the circle line running through it. Oh yeah, and it's also got the Piccadilly line running through it. So it's a center for, for, th for three major lines and like, like a, t a ton of connections. So um, that's why we kinda need to start with this. Okay, so we're gonna put this in first. And and it, it kind of presents us with a whole bunch of challenges, but you know, we'll we will we will overcome because that's the kind of people we are. Right, I'm going to bang um, a little bit of a road in here, kind of just to get us going. There we go. Right, cool. I'm don't worry. I'm not going to be doing loads of um, roads. This is all about the 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 underline. I, I want to get the underline, the underground. <laughs> I want to get the stations in, and then we'll kind of maybe like hook up a bit of it and. And by the way, this is not going to be done in one episode. No freaking way is this going to be done in one episode. Right, why haven't I done the underground before this? Let's go and have a look at um, my new underground assets. And remember, as always, you can find all of these assets in the uh, Sky's, uh, Sky's uh, London collection. Right, where's the metro? There's the metro. Right, now. Oh, oh. oh, look. Look at this. Ooh, what the hell is all this going on? Well... We've got two multi-platform uh, mods. This is the uh, the four platform, and it it, it has um, like two, literally two lines crossing over each other, right at different heights. So um, that's very cool. And then you've got this, which is six platforms at different heights, which is even cooler, right? But we've also got these these really nice London Underground assets. So we've got this, which is just like a, you know, a, a normal kind of street entrance. But we've also got these really nice buildings. Um, this is the um, well, well, this is this one. <laughs> there are two. Di there are two different looks. Um, both of them are very classic. And I've I was kind of wishing that somebody would like like combine these multi platforms with with these London Underground assets. And now they have! Uh, now I don't know, this is the one. This is the uh, the Leslie Green style uh, Underground, which which got that nice kind of um, semi-circular window. And this is a four platform. Now really, we need um, a six platform for this, but I'm gonna try and see if we can do it with a four platform, which is gonna be kind of kind of interesting, but we'll see what we can do. Right, let's um, let's bring the map up a second. Right, so the ch it's there. Right, so we are going to put this in like this. Now it's kind of the tubes are going to be kind of all over the place, guys. But it, it, it's kind of unavoidable. The the tubes are like a big pile of spaghetti. This is going to go in there. Right, we have got our first station. Have a look. Should we have a look? See what it looks like? And, um, yeah, I mean, this is, you know, 
Oops. Oh, oh look. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm going down to first person. Let's let's have a little look. Oh, look at that. Like you can see inside. You've got the whole ticket hall in there. My God, that is so accurate. It's ridiculous. Oh my God, this is this is one of the best assets I've ever seen. I think. Oh, how cool is that? All right, cool. <clears throat> now, in fact, Earl's Court, uh, Earl's Court Station, um, doesn't look that much like that. Um, but a lot of stations do look like this. And it's very cool. So uh, I'm going to pause this for a second because we're going to be uh, putting these in and they're not going to be hooked up to power and water and stuff. But I'm kind of not going to worry too much about that. Well, oh, I'll stop it. Right. Okay. So we've got that in. Now, how the hell are we going to do this? Um, because that's like the intersection and then we need to like link everything up to it. So let's see what we can do now i should i guess i should mention earl's court this is the earl's court exhibition center and this is kind of what made earl's court famous um i'm sure i'll put a picture up but this is the exhibition center but this is closed now um it's like permanently closed and there is another one where uh let's lift this up a little bit oh here we go olympia so they they, got, they closed down Earl's Court, and we've now got the Olympia Exhibition Centre. Uh, they were both open at the same time at one time, pretty sure. Um, but yeah, now we just got a, a Olympia, which is um, where it's where they have like lots of exhibitions of like like um, oh, what's the the the, 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 the Holmes one is the famous one, and uh, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? We want to get on with tubes. By the way, we are very very close to the second most important landmark in London okay now the first is obviously Ikea the second is just down here oh yes like now so many people will be looking at this and going what the hell is that this is Stamford Bridge the home of Chelsea Football Club oh yeah and yes I'm going to be putting the football stadiums in we'll get to that right enough yak we need to do a bit more build now um, I've got to like figure out where the lines are going to go now West Kensington is the first stop so we're going to need this road going in here and we've got like West Ke uh, West Kensington Barons Court then it goes up here to um, God is this Brook Green I don't know I'm not sure I know this could be Hammersmith, I'm not sure. I, I've got to consult my map. Hang on, give me a second. Um, let's see. South Cairn is the other side. So, yeah, West Cairn. And then, yeah, Barons Court, Hammersmith. And then Ravens Court, Sanford Brook, Turnham Green, right. Now, the one I'm looking for is West Brompton, which is down. Now, where's West Brompton? Where is West Brompton? Uh, Here's West Brom oh here's West Brompton. Because this is this is the one I want to do first because this brings us down to Putney. And um that's where I want to go. I want to go down to Putney. Where's um where's Putney Bridge? Here's Putney Bridge. And it comes down, yeah, it comes down here, it comes down West Brompton, Fulham Broadway, Parsons Green. Because I want to talk to you a bit about this area. I, I spent a load of time here when I was a bit younger, uh in my in my uh, wild days. And I've got loads of stories to tell you about down there. Right. Shut up, for God's sake, Sky. Put something in. Um, right. So we want to put in, let's see, Earl's Court, West Brompton. Now, West Brompton Station is over here. So how the hell are we going to put that in? Right. So, like I said, like, I am, I'm not going to rush this. I'm going to take as long as I like because this is one of the funnest bits. So we'll put a road kind of up there. Then um, we'll put this road in, I think, which runs down there. And we'll put that road in. And we'll hook it up to there. Right, so now we can put West Brompton Station in. So how we, what are we going to put it in with? I, I think we'll probably put it in with um, my favourite asset, which is this one. 
I do like this one. I really do. The the it the problem is going to be the alignment of these, but I'm just going to kind of live with it. I'm just going to kind of live with it. I'll just hook them up like however. But you can see they're pretty damn close together. <laughs> like like very close together. Ridiculously close together. Don't care. Don't care. I like. I'm going to put them all in, and then I'll look at it. And if, like, if I really, really want to take some out, I might. But we'll see. So then we've got Full and Broadway, which is um, this is the tube stop that you would get off at if you were going to Stamford Bridge to watch to watch the Chelsea to go and stand in the shed end and cheer on the Blues. Oh yeah, I'm a big, big Chelsea fan. Been a Chelsea fan my whole life. Most of it was miserable until um, Roman Abramovich bought the club. Russian billionaire. Um, so now, I think we'll put that up there and that up there. And then, see, I've got to leave room for Stamford Bridge. So, now full of Broadway. I don't, I don't know. I think we're probably going to use... Um, we don't need a four boy for this. I've just got to consult the map and see if um, which stations. Now, none of these have multiple connections. Uh, the only one that does is like Acton Town, which is way out to the west. So we don't have to worry about that. Good. So I think we're going to put in um, this this one again. Just one of these. Um, but again, you know, we, it's the the alignment's a bit of a sod. Uh, is the uh, now what? You know what? I'm just gonna kind of have to deal with it. But like <laughs> that alignment it, it is not good, is it? You know what? Uh, where does that road go? I, 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 I if there's a, any kind of road that comes down here. Well, there is a road that kind of goes a bit iffy round there. So you know what? We're having that because that means that I'll be able to put this in like that which will make a hell of a lot more sense come on go in oh, this is annoying isn't it like 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 why can't I put it there yes son of a bitch. now the only thing I could do the only thing I could do is if I go to uh, parks and I go to pavements and I put a pavement in there. Right. Then it allowed me to do it. There we go. Look, it's crazy, isn't it? But it'll allow me to do it. And, you know, I actually don't, kind of don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Right, so, where were we? Whew, man. This is, this is going to take a while, I told you guys. So that's Fulham, Fulham Broadway. And then we come down to... Parsons Green. Now, Parsons Green is this tiny little triangle down here, uh, and it's on the King's Road, and I used to spend a lot of time on the King's Road. And if you want to know what I used to get up to, you'll have to come back for the next episode. <laughs> Leave me a comment, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.